Lisa from Lisa's Halls. How y'all doing? I'm doing fabulous. It's Sunday. I got to see, let me think about this, 75% of my children. Missing two of my sons, but that's okay. I got to talk to one of them on the phone, so I made me happy just missing the other one. Good day. Sort of a good day. I overslept. Do you know what that means? I miss church. I don't like missing church. I feel like a very bad person missing church, and I overslept. I didn't wake up till after 9 o'clock. And church for us starts at 10, and there was absolutely no way I could have gotten ready in time to get across town to get to church. So, Pastor Len, if you're watching this, I don't know if you watch my hauls or not, I apologize, and I will be there next Sunday. Anyway, so, I... What else we got going on? I don't know. It's a beautiful day. It's kind of cloudy, but it's beautiful. And, uh, good day. It's a very good day. And, um, I'm sitting in my little lady cave, as Joanne calls it. But I don't really know if I... Lady cave, craft area, whatever you want to call it. This is my room, my bedroom is in here too and I'm looking at all my owls and my owl friends and I got lots of little owls and all my stickers and things like that and I got lots of good things coming up that I want to talk to you guys about before I get this haul started because I as you know you've watched some videos that Mike and I have done this weekend and we're coming up with some new fresher ideas because we just want to keep things fresh keep things rolling keep things going keep you guys entertained and interested because we just love you guys so much and you guys just are amazing to me and I just appreciate each and every one of you so um, we're going to do a cooking segment starting this week um, Mike is going to be making his homemade pizza and I will be helping him to a degree why I film it because he's the, he's the pizza maker of the family and I'll get things ready for it but he normally makes it all um, so I know that might sound a little lame to some, but you know, we thought we'd start off simple and easy and then I'll work my way up to, you know, up to the bigger stuff. Because that's really what I do for a living. I am a lead dietary coordinator at a facility and I do do cooking there. So I do have skills. <laughs> they're mom skills, but they're skills nonetheless I can cook. Um, I can feed an army and I can feed two. It's difficult sometimes to go from feeding an army down to just Mike and I, but because I still want to feed an army, it's really hard. That's been a difficult thing for me to do, but I'm trying. Anyways, and um, what else do we got going on? I want to um, show you some pocket letters. I'm going to show you, I'm gonna do, if you guys are interested, I'm just throwing this out here. I'm going to um, do a tutorial on my pocket letters because I'm pretty proud of them. And um, I have been asked and if I would do a makeup tutorial and I thought I'm a little hesitant just because I don't want you guys to see me without makeup. I do not look pretty without makeup, but for you guys, I will do it. Um, no judgment. <laughs> Please, no judgment, because I am, unfortunately, the type of person that I need makeup on. I look horrendous without it. Um, I don't look well. I don't look good. I don't look attractive. I look like I'm sick. I, yeah. Actually, it worked for my benefit when I was in high school, though, because I didn't wear makeup. I just would go without makeup when I wanted to get out of school, and... Oh, honey, are you sick? Oh, yeah, I don't feel good. And guess what? I got to get out of school. So it was awesome. It rocked. It worked in my, in my favor. <laughs> you can believe that or not. Anyways, but uh, so I'm going to do that. So what do we got here? We got um, a pocket letter tutorial, a cooking segment, um, a makeup segment. I'm going to do a, a planner video. I told you guys I was going to start doing those. There was one more thing that I was going to do. I just lost it. I don't know. When I think of it, I'll know. Because my book's out in the other room where it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be in here with me. I don't know where it was. <laughs> I'm not going to get up and go get it. But anyways, it doesn't matter. I'll... 
go without it. So anyway, so that's what I'm, I plan on doing. So um, after I get done with this video, I'm going to attempt to do a pocket letter video with you guys. And hopefully you guys can see what I do and we'll go from there. So with that being said, I do have a very small haul um, to show you. I can't believe that I actually talked Mike into going to the Dollar Tree, but I did. Found some new things, found some lots of fall stuff. I can't wait to do that. Mike said that we need to do a fall haul, and I agree with him totally because there's lots of beautiful fall things at the Dollar Tree. Totally beautiful things, so I'm super excited about that. So, without further ado, let's get into this haul because I know that's what we're here for. We want to see what's out there. So, let's get into it. So, the very first thing I'm going to show you is the little fall haul that I grabbed because I couldn't not live without him. Is him, isn't him so cute? Look how cute he is. This is my buddy. Look at the little haw. Isn't he cute? This is my owl friend. Welcome to my owl family. Very cute. So, another owl for the fall. And I got some nail things. I think I've hauled this before, but I thought I'd haul it again. I got the Sassy and Chic Pink flamingos and they look alike of this. Can you guys see those okay? I hope. And then I got these things are so darn cute. I just can't get over them. But it's the watermelons. <laughs> those adorable. I love them. And then um, I got the sassy and sheet glitter strips. And they look like that. Can you see those pretty well? Yep. And then I got the edge nail strips. There's 22 nail decals on here and they're strips. So I got those. And then I got the nail strips and this is um, zero dry time for your fingers and your toes. So there's 16 pieces. So there's those and then for oh we got one more we got the salon effects um, peel and apply no dry time so they look like this and then I got this from my girl and she knows who she is Miss Brittany Marie Olstrom was looking for the color tattoos and honey I found you some so I got you oh I don't have my glasses on buff and tough and it looks like this I got you now listen this one you're gonna freak out over and go oh I don't think I like this I have this color and it's a very attractive color so I think you're gonna like this and this one's called What is this called? Never Fade Jade. And it looks like that. It is a very pretty color and it goes good with these browns. And I got you the uh, Improper Copper. So there you go, honey. You got three of them coming your way. I'm putting them in the mail tomorrow. I'll be down to you shortly. Then, I love Mike. He's so funny. I said, honey, can I have these? I really don't need stickers, but these pocket letters, you just never know which ones you need. And I know that I bought a few already this weekend, and I just saw these, and I'm like, hmm, I really do love these. They're so pretty. So I got these. And then I got this one. I thought those were really cool. And then I was looking, I was on the hunt for this for my grandson because I bought him his backpack. And I got him a Ninja Turtle backpack and I wanted him to have the Ninja Turtle pencil 
pack or a pocket. And I found him one finally. So there you go. And then Mike, we were talking about props and things like that. And I said, he found these glasses. And I said, yeah, you know, whatever. And then all of a sudden I was like looking at him like, these are too cute. So he bought me these glasses. Are they not styling like Elton John? Hello, Elton John. I am like liking these glasses. So I got a little prop. What do you think of that? They're dorky. They're stupid. I don't care. I like them. Thanks, Mike. So I'll put them up here. And then Casey, Casey, Casey. Look what I found for you, girl. I had to get. I had to get this. I gotta send you a little package because I got a couple other things for you too. But look at the ducks. Casey, it's on stationary paper. Look at the ducks. Isn't that so cute? It's for you. So there you go with that. Okay, let's see what other trouble we can find behind me here. Just one second. I'm going to flip around here and we'll get the rest of this. Okay, so this is food finds. Um, never bought one of these before, and this is called Sparkling Ice Orange Mango. Loved it. It's very good. In fact, I'm going to take a little sip because I'm thirsty. <sighs> very tasty. Okay, so I said to Mike, I said, oh, there's bread here. And it's from the Great Lakes Bread Company. And it's got an excellent date on it. And so we got it. And it's nice and soft, so I'm thinking we're going to like it. Then I made a roast for dinner for tonight. I needed some bread, and they had these Miss Claudia's Bakery. Hot, fresh bread anytime, anywhere. Um, they're French baguettes. And you basically, you put them in the oven on the rack for 8 to 10 minutes and 375. And two, you get two of them for a buck. So for Mike and I, that's we just need one and we can save the other for later. So I thought I'd get that. And then everybody at my work loves Sriracha. I don't use this stuff, but they had it there and it's Crying Tiger Sriracha Hot Chili Sauce. And so Mike's going to try this. And I said he'll probably like it because he likes the hot stuff. And then for Mike, he got these barbecue chicken sandwich. It's a barbecue chicken patty. It's fast bites. It's frozen. So he's going to try that for work this week. And then he got a cheeseburger. Um, again, it's frozen, so he'll probably like that too. And then he got this chili cheese hot dog. And it too is frozen, so hopefully he will like that and enjoy that as well for work. So, there is that. Hopefully, those items taste good. We'll let you know, and then I'll do a little review on them. Hopefully, they're not like a waste of time or money or anything. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. How are we doing on time? We're doing great on time. So... Um, now that I've got that little haul done, I just was going to show you a pocket letter so you kind of get an idea, you know what I'm doing, and then um, I will be doing a tutorial on this in just a little while and hopefully get that video up for you guys so that you guys can see, like, and enjoy, not like, I don't know, hopefully, if you don't like it, oh well, you don't have to watch it again, you can just hit the road, or you can love it and become a sub. Part of my family. I hate that word sub. I'm with Sarah Woolley. I don't like that word. I want you to become my friend slash family. So that's what I want you to do. Like, comment, share below. Become a family member, a friend member, whatever you want to call it other than that S word. And that'd be great. Anyway, so this is what they call a pocket letter. 
and I love these things. Um, I feel like it's the new thing of uh, pen pal. So I did this one up. And I really, well, there's went those two. That's all right. I can do them later. And I did those up. And they're just really cool. And you just stuff the back of them with little, um, I'll put suckers in there. I'll put a little toy in there. I might put gum. I might put tea or crystal light. It just depends on what, you know, type of person I'm working with. If I, you know, that kind of thing. It just depends what's going on, you know. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to show you that and how much fun that is. It's a lot of fun. It gives me something to look forward to. I'm not a knitter or a crocheter or a sewer. I wish I was, but I'm not. Anyways, um, like I said, like, comment, share below. Go over and see my Lisa's Hall's Facebook page. And, um, yeah, anyways, I just hope you guys have a good evening. I hope that you do something good for yourselves or for somebody else. Remember snail mail. Because everybody likes to get the snail mail and not a damn bill in the mailbox. But anyways, I love you guys very much. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday afternoon. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Be good. Bye.